This is my dog and my brother. If I even leave this in the Say hi, Loki. Hi, baby. Give me a kiss. Give me a kiss. All right, you're an asshole. Hi, friends. Welcome back to my channel. Um, today is very exciting for me because this is a Sephora haul. I went yesterday to the VIB Rouge reception, I think is what it's called. So, um, they just give you this humongous uh, uh, bag, tote thingy. Uh, they give you that. And then inside is your actual bag of goodies. So I'm so excited because I've been holding off on using these for a whole one day. <laughs> and it was like, just seeing the bag in the corner of my room was just like tearing my heart apart. So I can't wait to show you guys all the super fun stuff that I got. I mean, it's really not a lot, like I said. It's a couple things. Nothing crazy. So whatever, let's just jump into it. Um, they give you this little makeup bag, but I'm not going to open this until the end because, let's be honest, this is the least exciting thing. So in no particular order, I'm just going to go in the bag and start grabbing things. I'm so excited. I'm just so excited. You guys really just don't even understand. Okay, so first thing I grabbed is this primer by Hourglass. This is the Hourglass Veil Mineral Primer. And I heard so, so many people talking about it. And I do have a little baby sample. Let me see. Here we go. I have this little sample that I use. It was like a 100 point perk. And I've been using it recently. And I love this. I love this primer. I love this primer. I, I never thought I would love a primer, first of all. Because to me, at first, all primers were just, whatever. It was just like an extra layer over your face before your foundation it was just whatever but and I never really thought they did anything for the longevity of my makeup because I feel like my makeup kind of lasts long every day um but I have you know I used a sample size today I don't know if you can see but I've been wearing this makeup kid you not okay let me see what time is it right now it is seven o'clock p.m. right now I woke up and I did my makeup because I had to work today I did my makeup around oh, 6, 6, 6.30, I did my makeup, a.m., 6.30 a.m., it's now 7 o'clock p.m., and I haven't touched up once, and I have, you know, a little tiny bit of oils here, and I'm an oily person, by the way. I have, like, a tiny bit of oils here, but I haven't touched up, and I think it looks great, and I just used, you know, whatever regular foundation I would use. So this is just what it looks like. The full size not the little baby sample size um this is the one ounce i was gonna get the two ounce but i just wasn't ready so i got the one ounce i chickened out i'm sorry and i'm so happy that i have this because i if once my sample finishes i i wasn't i was just gonna die i was just gonna die that's what was gonna happen i was gonna die so next product that i pull out is by Too faced this is the Too faced lip insurance I've never owned a lip primer before, but I've heard a lot of people, this is just what it looks like out of the box. A lot of people talking about this, how it really helps the longevity of your lipstick. And I am all about the longevity of your lipstick because, like I said, I work a lot of hours and I need that lipstick to last. Okay, now probably one of the most exciting things about my trip to Sephora... I was so excited for this, honestly. I mean, there's really two things that I was the most excited about, and this is one of them, and I was just, I'm so happy that I have it. So this is the Kat Von D Chrysalis Palette, and I do have the Monarch Palette. I bought that one first because it has, you know, more neutral tones, tones, you know, anybody would use for a normal day, you know. And this one has blues and purples and... I was just more drawn to the other one, to be honest. That, like, burnt color in there, the burnt, the burnt, the burnt, the burnt, the burnt, the burnt, the burnt orange in the Monarch palette just, like, called my name. So I bought that one first. And the shadows, I can honestly say, are amazing quality. Amazing. They are so blendable, so just awesome. Like, there is a little bit of fallout, but you know what? It's gonna happen. So this is it with the box off. I think... 
I don't know. They're all just so gorgeous. I don't think there's one that I'm more excited about. Maybe these two. I think I, I really would like these two because I love transition colors. And then this one is just, it looks freaking gorgeous. Let me just, look at this. Stop playing games. Stop. Just stop. I haven't touched, like I said, I haven't touched any of this stuff yet. So I just cannot wait to play. Like the highlight of my entire trip was that palette right there. Next thing I'm pulling out of my bag is by Becca. It's their Shimmering Skin Perfector, of course. You know I love Opal Moonstone Rose Gold, but I didn't have Topaz and it was kind of bothering me that I loved the other three so much and I didn't have the last one. So I just went and picked it up. This is the box. I already took it out. I think we all know what this looks like by now, honestly. So this is just the packaging. And when you just open it, it's just pure gorgeousness. This is just the goldest out of the four. And I think gold actually looks really good on my skin tone. So I am so excited to play with this. You know, anything with a highlight, I am all about it. So there it is. Topaz. I really wanted the Becca blushes. Like any of them, they're all so gorgeous. I think I really wanted Songbird and Damselfly and Wild Honey. But my Sephora does not carry those, so unfortunately, sad face for me, I didn't get them. Alright, so next two things I'm pulling out of my bag are Sephora cream lip stains. I got two shades. They're just in these little plastic thingies. Also, I heard everybody talking about them, and I love liquid lipsticks. Probably my favorite kind of lipstick is, you know, the liquid kind. I got the shade Always Red, which is this one. I guess I should bust it out of its packaging. Excuse me, this will probably take me like 45 minutes, so. Oh, wow, no, that was actually pretty simple. Just kidding. So this is the shade Always Red, and it's supposed to just be, you know, red. And I mean, it looks red. It looks like any other liquid lipstick. Like, let me not just get you excited. It's just a liquid lipstick. It's just a liquid lipstick. And then the other shade I got was Strawberry Kissed because I've seen a lot, again, I've seen a lot of people talk about it and, you know, when a lot of people talk about things, I'm, I'm intrigued. I'm, I'm, I want to know what's up. So this is it outside of the little plastic and again, it's supposed to be kind of a ready, fuchsia eat pinky type of situation. I don't know. We'll see. And the last thing that I got in this trip to Sephora, which by the way, these were um, like quadruple points for the VIB Rouge. VIB's just got, I think, triple points, and then Beauty Insider's got double points. So, VIB Rouge, you know what I'm saying? I got um, four types of points, and it's totally worth the intense amount of money that I spent. My boyfriend looked at the total, and he was just like, that's your total? And I'm like, yeah, babe, just relax. It'll be fine. Don't worry about it. So, the last thing I got is this, the other thing that I'm the most excited about. It is the NARS Dual Intensity Eyeshadow in the shade Callisto. This is the packaging, you know, the box. And then when you open it, you know, it's just a little baby eyeshadow. Just as small as you would think a, a little eyeshadow is going to be. Honestly, this is the only shade out of all of the shades that I was excited about because I felt like it was you know, the most eye-catching. The one that I would probably get the most use out of. It is just gorgeous. It is gorgeous. If you have not gotten on these shadows, get on it. This is probably the first, oh, yeah. This is the first thing I'm going to, no. This is the first thing that I think I'm going to play with out of everything that I got in this haul. Because oh, when I saw it in the store, I was just like, let's go. Come into my bag. Thank you. Dish out the $29. You'll thank me later. Oh. Oh. Last thing is this little bag of samples they give you. They gave me whatever. It's a bag of samples. I've not even looked inside this bag, so I have no clue what's in it, but I'm just gonna pull things out. Um oh, Dr. Jart. This is the first thing I see. It's the Dr. Jart Beauty Bomb. BB Disappear. Huh, like disappear, disappear. That's funny. That's cute. Yeah, that's all it really says. Broad Spectrum SPF 30. Whatever. Dr. Jart. We'll see what this even is. <laughs> I don't know if it's like a BB cream, a primer. I don't really know. I'm not really sure. Next thing I pull out is from Buxom. And it's the Lash Mascara. Wow. <laughs> Original name. Buxom. Good job. Just 
Looks like a little mascara. Tiny baby mascara. I could totally use another mascara, whatever. Why not? Yeah, we'll just we'll just keep rolling, pulling things out of the bag. I have a Escada perfume sample. It's called Born in Paradise. Oh, I just ripped everything. I don't really know what this smells like. Uh, I'll smell it, but I'm not going to tell you what it smells like because that's just weird. Like, no one does that. It smells like alcohol. <laughs> it smells like pure alcohol. I don't like it. <laughs> I don't like it at all. I'll probably give it to my mommy. Here's a little benefit what's up. I have a full size and like 35 baby sizes. I really didn't need another one, but what are you going to do? If it was free, it was free. What are you going to do? Next is HD Blush from Makeup Forever. Oh gosh, from Makeup Forever. It just comes in this little pamphlet thing. I don't really know how this is gonna work out. Oh gosh, I think it's a cream blush. I think the HD blushes are cream blushes, aren't they? Correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure it's a cream, a cream blush. Can someone explain to me, like, I opened it up and this is what it is, but this is not a blush, it's just, what the hell? Oh, it's like inside a packaging. Okay, so it is the blush. It's just inside the packaging. You just gotta open it. Okay. Word up, Makeup Forever. I don't even know what shade that is. Does it even say? 410. Shade 410. <laughs> Next things I'm pulling out is this Algenist Complete Eye Renewal Balm. So I guess it's just like an eye cream. It just looks like this in a little baby container. Oh, this is actually a pretty generous size. If it is an eye cream, then it looks like a pretty generous size. And I did need a new eye cream, so. Woo! We're winning a little bit here. Just a little bit. Uh, what in the bejesus is this? Living Proof Perfect Hair Day. 5-in-1 Styling Treatment. I did see, I think, Makeup by Tiffany D. I think it was her who was talking about this. And she said she loves it. So... I guess we'll try it out. I mean, I'm not, I'm not really a hair girl. Doing my hair is my least favorite thing to do in the world, pretty much. Like, pull my teeth out first before you let me do my hair. I don't like doing my hair. I, I really don't. With that being said, obviously, I do my hair because I have to look like a normal human being. But it's just, just yeah, I don't like it. Don't make me do it. All right, and the last thing is a foundation primer by Laura Mercier. It's just called foundation primer, I think. It just says foundation primer, so... I mean, I don't know if I'm gonna use this because my hourglass is so good and it's like the love of my life right now. Like, literally, I've been wearing this makeup for 12 hours. Can we just talk about that for a second? No. No, more than 12 hours I've been wearing this makeup and it literally looks exactly... Okay, maybe a little bit different, but exactly the way it looked in the morning when I applied it and that I think is just phenomenal like I can't even believe a foundation primer can do that like what who knew I'm pretty sure everybody knew but me I was late that's it for my Sephora haul unfortunately I wasn't trying to break the bank but I did anyways if you like this haul please give the video a thumbs up I don't know why I had to like do this motion like Please subscribe. Um, I know I was going to do my foundation routine as my next video, but I just really wanted to break into these products. So I had to do this. I just had to. I'm sorry. You'll forgive me. Subscribe. Get comfy. Stay a while. Mi casa es su casa. I really hope I was in focus throughout this video, bruh.